Hey everybody, welcome to another review. Um, I got a couple requests to retest Avast because um, I haven't done it in a while and I uh, heard some new things had come out. So I went and grabbed the newest version I could find. The signatures are updated and so is the engine. You can see it was updated zero minutes ago. Uh, all the shields are on. You can look. Okay. So let's do some testing here. Okay, that one doesn't look like it works anymore. Okay, looks like I caught that one. Okay, looks like I caught something there. Okay, I don't see much of anything happening. These are very new pieces of malware. So, okay, got that one. Oh, looks like Internet Explorer and Windows Explorer is... Looks like they crashed. Okay, and the last one. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this one finish, and then I'm going to do a full system scan. Uh, doesn't look like it's done, the behavior shield doesn't look like it's done uh, anything. System shield's done some things, and it's detected files. I don't see anything from the behavior shield. So it looks like they still have some work to do on that. Okay, so that's all done. So I'm gonna do a um, I'm gonna do a scan and I'll be right back. Okay, just so I can show you here, I'm also turning on the scan potentially unwanted programs during this full scan so to give it a chance to catch as much as it can and I'll be right back again okay so uh, Avast finished scanning and I found a couple of uh, potentially unwanted programs Win32 PSW tools so we're gonna move both of these to the chest there we go and now I am going to reboot do a scan with CCleaner and then do or uh, clean out with CCleaner and then do a scan with Malwarebytes so I'll be back after Malwarebytes finishes scanning. Okay, so Malwarebytes finished scanning here. Found eight things. Let's see what we got here. We got a couple registry keys, and we got some. Uh, we got a rootkit. Got a Trojan. A couple Trojan downloaders. These are some jobs. So we'll try to do these whenever the computer starts. Fraud pack fraud alert. So I'm going to remove these and seeing as there isn't a 
memory file, so there isn't anything active right now in memory. There's no need to restart. So now I'm going to do a scan with Hitman Pro, so I'll be right back. Okay, so uh, Hitman Pro finished scanning here and it found another rootkit. So there you go. Um, it just goes to show you that even as good as a fast is, and it's got you know good signatures, um, a behavior blocker that looks like it that analyzed two events here. It wasn't good enough to stop this malware. Your computer is essentially infected right now. That's why you need something that basically guarantees you uh, that it'll stop inf infections for things that don't have signatures. So that's it for this review. Um, hope everybody enjoyed it. I'm trying to keep it nice and short. Uh, have a good day.